Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, 
through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they were gathered in the city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done to the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, 
How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the resurrection of Jesus and the sending of the Holy Spirit are very closely connected to each other. In fact, liturgically, that is expressed in the whole Easter season which begins on Easter Sunday, the day Jesus rose from the dead, and is concluded on Pentecost Sunday, the day of the sending of the Holy Spirit. Remember our Gospel yesterday. Jesus appeared to His disciples, and He breathed on them and told them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the risen one, shares with us His new life, and this new life is given to us through the Holy Spirit. Jesus rose again in order to bestow upon us the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings for today both talk about the Holy Spirit and used one image of the Holy Spirit, that of wind, hangin, the Holy Spirit in the form of wind, malakas, Na hangin. And this connection, this image of the Holy Spirit as wind could be traced back to the very words used in Hebrew and in Greek. Because in Hebrew and in Greek, the word for spirit is also the same word for wind. Ruah in Hebrew and pneuma in Greek are both translated as spirit or breath or wind. That is why the spirit is wind. In our first reading today, after being released from prison, Peter and John, together with those who believe in Christ, gathered together in prayer. And as they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And because of the presence of the Holy Spirit in each one of them, like a driving strong wind, they continued to speak about Jesus with courage, with boldness. And in our gospel today, 
in Jesus' conversation with the Pharisee Nicodemus, he talks of being born from above. And Jesus said that the one who is born from above is born of the Spirit. One who is born of the Spirit is like being driven by a strong wind. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. You do not know where it comes from or where it is going, but you can feel it. You know it is there. And Jesus said, it is the same with everyone who is born of the Spirit. That person born of the Spirit is driven by a strong wind. Like Peter, John, and the believers, one who is born from above is driven by the Spirit in order to preach Jesus with courage and boldness. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are being asked, what drives your life? What is the driving force in your life? And what kind of spirit drives you? You know that we will know the kind of spirit that possesses us by where we are driven. Kung saan ka dinadala, alam mo, dyan mo malalaman kung anong klaseng espiritu ang siyang nasa sa iyo. If you are driven to goodness, if you are driven to love, if you are driven to faith, if you are driven to holiness, if you are driven to truth and honesty, if you are driven to Jesus, then you are very sure that the Holy Spirit is the one that drives and directs your life. But if you are driven to dishonesty and lies, if you are driven to anger and hatred and indifference, if you are driven to do immoral and evil things, then you know what kind of spirit that is there possessing and driving your life. My dear brothers and sisters, the risen Lord gives us the Holy Spirit. The risen Lord breathes on us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us receive this gift. Let us be open to the Holy Spirit. And today and every day, let us allow the Holy Spirit to drive and direct our lives. Baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we are made children of God. As true co-heirs with Christ, we can come to our Father with confidence, and for every petition we can say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church on earth may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That baptized Christians may grow in the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are slaves of fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that we may work to bring non-believers in faith and baptism, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that our departed brothers and sisters may be raised to the glory of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, as we offer our prayers, draw us into the communion of the Spirit who dwells in your children and the Son, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia, we are going to portare. Alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit. Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deus.